Almost four months into the mission, Curiosity finally reaches Yellowknife Bay, a possible ancient lake bed 500 yards from where she landed. When we rolled down into Yellowknife Bay, we realized we had found something really good. We looked around and we saw this kind of a rock that was fractured, it had veins in it. We've got a lot of evidence for water here. With its laser, Curiosity zaps one of the veins, and from the puff of smoke, can see that this is a mineral with water inside. And it was just one more piece of a story that says there's a history of water here. And where there's water, there's a potential for life. Curiosity's drill is a crucial but potentially dangerous tool. Every time we take the robotic arm and we put it in contact with the surface of Mars, we all get a little nervous because the last thing in the world you want to do is have the rover slip a little bit and break something on the arm, break an instrument off, break one of the joints. And doing a drilling operation is just that even more so because you're now putting this drill bit into a hole where if the rover moves at all, you have the likelihood of jamming that bit or snapping that bit off. Yeah, I, I worry about it a lot. Another month goes by. Then finally, they're ready to drill and find out what this rock reveals about the story of life on Mars. We drilled, and it was amazing. We drilled this rock, and when the powder came up, the powder was gray. It had sort of a grayish, greenish color. We're so used to seeing red rocks everywhere, suggesting everything is oxidized to this rusty iron color. Not a good place for organics. You know, when you oxidize you, and rust, you also oxidize the organics away. And that was our first indication that not everything is oxidized on Mars. These rocks have something else going on in them. It was sort of like this window opened and we knew that some of this record that we're after has been preserved. First, they analyzed the powder to see what the rock is made of. And when it came back, it shocked us. We've got the clay mother load. This is 20% clays. And the great thing about clay, it's not acidic. It's not some extreme environment. And you're looking at this thing, and it could have been a freshwater lake. This is one of the things they came looking for, a place that once had everything life would have needed. Not only water, but chemical energy in the rocks, food for microbes, if they ever lived here. 